You need to understand that making 10K per month isn't easy. It's not what a lot of the gurus say. The truth is, yes, it's simple, but it's actually quite difficult if you don't change this one thing I'm gonna talk about in this video. Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome back to the channel. My name is Cody, and if you're new here, I've been running my agency for the better part of five years now, and I've also coached others to do the same. Now, when you're starting out, you don't know much. You're green. You believe what you hear online and think, yeah, I just gotta do some cold calls and then I'll get a client. Cool, but that's not how this works. It took me nine months of sending message after message, six days per week to sign my first client for $1,000. During this time, I didn't go out, I didn't party, I barely drank and I had no social life. If you're 17, 18 or let's say under 25 and you have the goal of 10K per month, you really must look at your life and look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, are you someone that deserves this? Now, I've coached over 100 people in the past 12 months and the biggest factor I see when it comes to success is how much one is willing to sacrifice. Some people who join the space have the idea of making the money, but when it comes to putting in the work and doing what needs to be done, they'll often just give up. You must want this as much as you need oxygen to breathe. For me, I'll do whatever it takes to be successful or die trying. If you told me, Cody, you're 45 years old, you make 50K a year working a crappy job, you don't like, I'd rather be dead than have that future. And I'm not someone who wants to die. Actually, death kind of scares me. The point I'm trying to make is how far are you willing to go for your goals and dreams? A lot of people in our age bracket are oblivious to all of this. So you being on this video right now says a lot. Most are out partying, drinking, seeing friends, talking shit, and just doing nothing with their lives. They might work a little bit or study, but they don't do anything else, and they're not wanting to grow or get better as a person. This isn't glamorous. I've sacrificed everything, and to me, that's what's required. When I was 14, I wanted to be a chef. I worked all through high school. I worked nine hours on a Saturday, nine hours on a Sunday, and I did two or three nights per week, five hours each. I did 33 to 35 hours a week of work, and then I went to school, and I did my own things on the side. I had no friends, no relationships, no time for anything else. It's an extreme. I would often go a whole year without seeing a friend. It never really bothered me because even now, it's all I really know. You need to get used to this. It can be lonely at times, but you must push through. The sacrifices you make now will be worth it. Tim Grover, famous coach to Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant said, you think the price of success is high? Wait until you get the bill for regret. You must be willing to work. You must be willing to do whatever it takes and never give up. Making money online doesn't come down to the perfect morning routine, journaling, meditating. It comes down to the action you take on that day. Focus on getting 1% better each and every day. What's helped me is by waking up between 6 and 6.30 every day, seven days per week, no excuses. I like to get things done in the morning because by 2 or 3 p.m. I kind of crash. Making money online is just a system and each day I write down exactly what I need to do and don't stop until it gets done. Your goals need to be the number one priority. Nothing, and I mean nothing, can stand in your way. You'll actually learn a lot about yourself and what you're capable of. When I worked at the number one restaurant in Australia, we would work from 7.30 a.m. until midnight or 1 a.m. I was in bed by 2 a.m., ready to do it all again the next day. We got a five minute break if we were lucky. That's life. You accept it. Every single person wants to be there. This is what we signed up for. You don't become the best by just pissing around. It's sheer focus, commitment, and work ethic. When I left that job, I couldn't sleep for about three weeks. It's weird, you are so mentally and physically exhausted, it kind of gives you some weird energy because in those hours from 7.30 till midnight, you do not stop. When I left, I didn't have that pressure, I didn't have the same adrenaline, but I was used to being awake and when I left, I, I wasn't doing anything in the day, right? I didn't have a job. So at nighttime, I just couldn't sleep because I wasn't, I wasn't exhausted. You can push yourself further than you think. To me, and again, this is just my opinion, the only thing that you can control is how hard you work and your discipline. Cut out all the distractions. If it's not helping you, get rid of it. Don't go out, don't see friends, don't party, don't talk to girls, focus on your work and you'll become a monster. There is no plan B. Find a way to win. Before getting my first client, I had two months of savings left. I was living on my own. I had two months to figure it out. My back was against the wall. 
had been trying for seven months with no results. Sometimes you need to be put in that position to break through. Change your habits and once you do that, follow what you see on my channel, the tactical things that I talk about and I assure you, you'll become successful. It's extreme and some people can't do it for long periods of time, yet others thrive in it and that was me. I loved it. I didn't actually care about the sacrifices and, and people did give me strange looks. However, at the start of 2023, when I went to Thailand with my best friend, the first two months I was there, all I did was live on the other extreme, party, go out every night, experience things I'd never experienced before. I was 24, I had never been to a club, I had never been to a festival, I'd never partied. It comes down to how bad do you want your goals. If you want this, then sacrifice now to enjoy the fruits of your labor later. If you're not making 10K, this is how you do it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.